All right. Well, love you guys. And thank you so much for um, coming online. And like the word that I said, two or three gathered in his name, he's in the midst. So uh, Minister Al, can you open us up in prayer, please? Sure. Dear Heavenly Father, we just thank you, Lord, just for an opportunity to come listen to your word and be fed, Lord, by, by the person that you have feeding us tonight, Lord. We're excited. You know, we have a level of anticipation to that we won't leave the window pane the same way we entered on and that we will, you know, take your word that we get tonight and let it be anchored and rooted in, uh, in our souls and our spirits, Father. We just thank you, Lord, for uh, just another day, Father. You know, um, you know, somebody didn't wake up today. Somebody's, you know, bedridden, but here we are sitting in front of the window pane Amen. with the activity of our limbs clothed in our right mind, blood running warmly through our veins, Father. We just thank you for the little things, Father. Amen. We thank you, you know, for our family members, our church members, Lord, our leadership, yes, Lord. We just want to just take this time just to thank you, Father, for who you are, Lord, for your mercy and your grace, Lord. Yes. We don't take it lightly being here right now, Father. We thank you for the breath. We thank you for the heartbeats, Father. We thank you for your Holy Spirit dwelling within us, Lord. So, Lord, we ask that you will just, uh, you know, have your way with us, Lord. Uh, let us have a, a more revelation of what you want us to do in this life, Lord, with these bodies that you gave us, these minds you gave us, Lord, and let they let, let us just be good servants, Father, good trustees and good stewards, Father, with everything that you've given us, Lord. We thank you, and we just appreciate you. We glorify your name, and, and it is in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. Oh, no problem.
side here sorry amen great song denise that's like a praise and worship a praise dance song for you on that all right i think that's it oh wait yep that's it all right great song That's a good one. That's one of them songs where you got like, oh, wait, is that what they just said? Purify me. I'm going to give solely to you. I said, oh, oh, wait a minute. I had to check myself one out. You know, you start singing the song. I'm like, those are some powerful words right there. <laughs> that was good, Denise. Really good song. All right. Well, no further ado. We're going to just um, let God use Denise in a mighty way. And uh, we know that we came with expectation, like Minister Al said, that we want to hear what God has laid on your heart to share with us today. So I'll leave it on to you right now. Mm. Lord, move me out the way, God. Yes. Pray that I'll be open, Lord, to hear from you. Open to receive, Lord God. In Jesus' name. Um. Now with that song, <laughs> Lord Jesus. Um, man, I might be all over the place. It's going to be short. I will not be before you long. All right, Minister, look, Pastor Carolyn. <laughs> um, so, man, song got me a little messed up right now in a good way. Um. Well, I can imagine if I played the long version, the long version was like 12 minutes and I just did the eight. So I must have been, I cut you short. I'm sorry. I'm, I didn't know it was something mm -hmm. shorter. So my bad. Mm, no, it's, it's fine. You know what? Maybe Holy Spirit tie these two things together. Amen. I tie these things together. Amen. Okay. So my first. All right, he got me going this way. So I had two different things uh, that I wanted to, well, not sure, but um, I'm gonna do this. So this is a partial poem. I didn't finish it. My hands are really bothering me, but I just pray that this ties into this other thing I got here. Yeah. So I titled this particular part here, Mold Me. I don't know if y'all can hear me, mold me. Amen. Um, so 
so this is going based off of, I don't even have a scripture written down, Genesis, when God created man. Um, from the dust you were formed by my hands, sculpted in my image, in our image, a reflection of three, a work of art, a beautiful masterpiece. I gave you life. It's my breath that you breathe. Amen. I created you with purpose giving you authority in all you would need. But that's all I have for Amen. that. And I just pray that the Lord can tie these two things in together. He will. Holy Spirit, lead me, lead me, lead me, lead me. Um, so, Jesus, yeah. So my scripture I have is, uh, Matthew 14, 27 to 30. Matthew 14, 27 to 30, you said? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Lord, you got me out here. You said unscripted. I trust you. <laughs> well, we got a scripture. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, Lord. Um, but Jesus immediately said to them, take courage, it is I, don't be afraid. Lord, if it's you, Peter replied, tell me to come to you on the water. Come, he said. Then Peter got down out of the boat, walked on the water and came toward Jesus. But when he saw the wind, he was afraid and beginning to sink, cried out, Lord, save me. Lord save me. I'm crying <laughs> Lord right now, me. Lord save me. Lord save me because I'm out here. Yeah. I'm out me. here. Um, yeah. Thank you, Lord. So we go through storms. Storms happen around us, and God showed me a tornado, is what he showed me. So we got storms around us. Tornado is in sight, it's in clear sight, and we feel the violent winds and the heavy rain and we become afraid. We become afraid because it's so intimidating. It seems intimidating. And we anticipate the possible danger or the harm that it may cause. So this is how we look at obstacles or situations in our lives. As a tornado, yours might be a tsunami somebody else's might be a hurricane right but when we keep our focus on god we can withstand whatever comes our way just because we're saved sanctified holy ghost filled doesn't mm -hmm. mean we're not going to go through anything amen in reality we're going to go through more because now we're a target and we're a threat to the enemy's plans so right. we're going to go through a lot more and so God is saying today, trust me. Can't you see me in the midst of the storm? This is what he's told me. He showed me this tornado. And he said, I'm, I'm right here. Can't you see me? I'm, I'm right here in the midst of this tornado, in the storm, in the situation that you're going through. I'm right here. And sometimes we look at it as a bad thing. And so God is saying, um, he wants oh. us to, to trust him. Mm -hmm. He's trying to grow us, mature us, change us. <clears throat> he wants us to see the blessing in that storm. Amen. Because we know that God's word said that he would never leave us nor forsake us. So we're looking at these things and I expressed to Pastor Hope earlier that not that it was a tornado, but it was something I was, I'm kind of, I was kind of afraid of. And I was asked to pray at my uncle's memorial. And that kind of made me nervous. It made me scared, but this is something that God has already put in me. 
I have nothing to be afraid of. He's saying, look, don't you see me in the midst of this situation? Amen. Because I don't know where anybody's at with what they believe and, and all that. And one word can change somebody's whole life. So God has set me up for a time like this to be secure enough in him to trust him to let go like I'm doing right now because I usually have page upon page written down and I've got one page written down and I'm like I don't know what you want me to do Lord but he's just saying to trust him in the midst of these situations God he wants to strengthen us he wants us to move he's like I watched something earlier today he's like God had to allow that thing to happen because if not, you weren't going to move. Come on. I, I had to let that happen. I had to let that person out of your life. I had to remove that person. I had to remove that situation. Those yes. people, I had to remove that low self-esteem, whatever it is you're going through. I had to move those things out of your life because you weren't going to move on your own. So I had to remove those things and you wanted to stay stuck and stagnant being on a treadmill, not going anywhere. So God's saying, I had to remove these things. I had to put these situations in place, allow things to happen. So you would see me in it. So you would be able to move when it's time to move, because this is the time now you're out here. You're out here. I need you to come out that boat. I need you to walk on this water. Don't look at anything else around you. Don't look at this person and what this person is doing don't compare yourself with like well this person seems more seasoned than me oh this person they're not living right oh this person blah 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 but we were once there too so god is showing me i'm right here in this situation and i need you to see me because i am growing you up in order for us to grow we need to be nourished we need water so in the same respect that God is molding us because a masterpiece can't create itself. Right. You can't create yourself. You can't change yourself. It's things that God is doing in your life and is causing the change, the transformation. And we can change, we change stuff. It's in our own flesh, but we can't, we can't create ourselves. We can't make ourselves new. And God is saying, I want to mold you. Sometimes God has to tear down to rebuild. So sometimes we feel like we're going through all this stuff and these storms and, and all this stuff is going on. And Lord, why me? Why me? But why not me? Because God, it's time to say, I'm here. I'm trying to build you up. I'm trying to repair you those places that were broken because i know me when i clean and i get upset with things because nothing's not right i'm tearing up everything i'm tearing up stuff i'm throwing out things because i want to be able to put other things back in place so this is god's time to tear off some things to clean out some areas to build us back up to 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 mold us so we go through these storms and tornadoes when it seems like it's really bad It's really not because God said to me, he's like, no matter, and I know I shared this before, you feel all this going on around you. You feel the blows, you feel the insults, you feel whatever. And it's been a lot of stuff going on, but guess what? I got peace. Amen. I'm not worried about nobody. I got peace in the midst of. So all this stuff is happening around me. But God is saying, I am shielding you. I have this hedge of protection around you, but you have to abide in me. So we have to abide in him because he's trying to protect us from these things. And we will be way out somewhere. And I was, I was way out somewhere, but God had to pull me out. He had to lift me up. I didn't even know I was in danger. So now this is a time where things are changing and I see things changing and he's renewing and restoring and he's changing and it's a good thing. So these storms, yeah, they might wreck us a little bit, but it's all for our good. God told me, he said, it's, it's for your good. It's for your good. I'm not trying to hurt you, but I allowed this thing to happen because it's, it's for your good. I'm trying to save you. I'm trying to rebuild you, to mold you into who you were meant to be. You, it's like 
this is what I see it as. And I know, you know, God has spoke to me before about this. We get, some people get tattoos. I got a lot of them. And it's like, if I'm doing so, if I'm creating a masterpiece, I don't want somebody else coming over top of me and writing on my painting, writing on my drawing, because then for me, it's, it's messed up. It's not the way I wanted it to be. So when we, we add on things and we do all these other things, we're adding on. We're adding this stuff on. And God's like, I created you. And so now God has to tear down in order for us to be rebuilt. Because he has an appointed time and he has things that he wants us to do. But for me, I was so stuck in myself, in my own situation. And it's not about me at all. Amen. It's about being about his business. It's about being in position for other people to help other people, to, to, to draw other people in. It's, it's not about me. It's for what, what I can do for him, what you can do for him. So he showed me this tornado, but I, I didn't feel threatened. I didn't feel threatened because I know that this is a good thing. Of course, we have storms that it just seems like you don't know which way to turn. You don't know what to do. You just, you know, it's either going to build you up or you're going to really get torn down because if you're not focused on God, you see what happened to Peter. You see what happened to him. He lost his focus and he began to, to drown. I don't want to drown. Amen. I don't want to drown in my situation and my sorrow. And I'm supposed to have joy. You're supposed to have joy. We're supposed to have joy. We are his children. We're supposed to have joy. We're supposed to let him um, do what he needs to do. Get out the because way. This, yeah. Like we're, we're not our own. I know God told me before, he was like, stay out my business. And he <laughs> said to me, just like that, stay out of my business. I'm like. <laughs> he told you all. Right. Huh? <laughs> like, all right, Lord, I'm going to stop mom business yes lord oh so, mm -hmm. that's we gotta, good we gotta let him do it and um i don't know where i'm going with this i have another scripture and i don't even know i don't remember what this scripture was about i just wrote it down um lord i have no idea i thank you whatever you're doing had me out here to trust you because i i don't know I don't know. I got Psalm uh, 121 and 1. Psalms 121, verse 1. Yep. Um, <clears throat> short and simple. I lift up my eyes to the mountains. Where does my help come from? Wow, that's good. Verse two, my help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. My help comes from the Lord. Not me. My help comes from the Lord. We, we get to that place. God will put us to that in that place where we, we don't have anybody else to fall back on where we have to cry out to him yeah we got support you ever have those times where you're going through stuff and you call people and nobody's picking up the phone mm -hmm. from from now when people call me i'm like well did you did you pray about it i know people be mad at me for that but i'm like did you pray about it before you talk to me because that's where i'm at now i don't want people coming to me and they flesh and they feelings and blah, 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 blah. no go pray about it and then come back and we can talk. And, and that's where I'm at now. Like, I don't call people to vent. I talk to God first. Because who knows me better? Who knows you better? He, Amen. So he's there to, to strengthen us. And that's where our strength comes from. Those times that we're weak, 
we, we can boast about those times because he gives us the strength that we need. So when we go on through these storms and all this stuff going on and we get scared, but we know that for us, his children, he's not giving us a spirit of fear. Right. He has not given that to us. So, and it's because he's on the inside of us. This body, this is housing for the Holy Spirit. He left us the comforter. He left us a helper, someone to guide us. We always got people be like, oh, I'm alone. I don't got nobody to talk to. Always got somebody to talk to. That's right. People, people be like, I'll talk to myself. Yep, me too. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Because we talk to ourselves and we talk, we talk to the Holy Spirit. We talk to ourselves. And ain't nothing wrong with that. Um, so I don't got nothing else, but Lord, I just thank you that it was a little something, something I'm out here, but I know you didn't leave me. You're here with me every step of the way, God. Um, and just remember that these storms are to, to build you up and that you might get torn down just a little bit, but God's there. You're not going to break. You might bend Amen. a little you're not going to break. God wouldn't, he wouldn't leave you out there like that. And I have to remind myself every time something, I'm like, Lord, you, I, I know you wouldn't leave me like that. Like, I knew it, God. You wouldn't, you wouldn't do me like that. You, you got me. You got me. So he got you. God got you. Whatever it looks like, you know, people having all types of problems lately and just everybody's going through something. But it's all on how you look at it. If a person don't have God in their life, if a person they don't have, they not rely on the Holy Spirit, they don't want nothing to do with God, they're just going to be out there. They're just going to be out there. And they're going to be, you know, in their feelings and all that and whatever else. But God, he, he makes a way. He makes a way. And so, and they're going to think, I've had couple people come to me lately they feel like God's punishing them they feel like you know whatever and I'm like no like it's not punishment like it seems like punishment and that is a lie from the pit but it's not punishment maybe God's trying to get your attention for you to to come on in for you to seek him for you to have nobody else to cry out to but him because he's the one that understands when the stuff is going on so I pray y'all got something out of it. It's short and um, praise God. That's all I got. Amen. It don't always have to be so long. Like that was so much powerful. Like it's like quality instead of the quantity. So that was amazing right there. And it's just so funny when you read Psalms 121, I forgot where that scripture was. I lift up my eyes until the hills where my health coming from. So I love that scripture. I just never knew really where it was, but it's just so true. And my health coming from the Lord, which have made heaven and earth. So I thank you. And we do all, we all have storms, no matter what the storm looks like and how big it is and how long it's going to take for us to get out of it. But we do, because that's just allowing God to just mold us and grow us in him where it's not our strength, it's him doing it. And also while he's doing that, he's showing it where other people are being blessed by our storms. And we all know it at the time because we in the storm and we feeling it and we could care less if somebody is getting blessed by it. Let me get through it. You know what I mean? But in the midst of getting through it, there's a testimony at the end. So powerful word, powerful, powerful word. So mom, Jeanette and uh, minister Al, I don't know if you guys have anything to say, you know, you'll always be dropping jewels and knowledge onto us. So not to put y'all out there, but you know, why change? Today is still Wednesday. Keep on feet because I know y'all got something to share. So I'll just leave it open to you guys. Great job, Denise. Good job. Good yeah, work. Good work. Yeah, it was. Yes. Thank you. I like it. Yes. I mean, I know I like it, but look how I like to see how God moved you where you was like, I don't know what to say, what to do. And just even that just bless me. To be, be like, we just got, I got to trust him even with his word. So thank you. Go ahead, Minister. I'm sorry. 
No, I mean, that was the on-time word, mold me. You understand? Yeah. We ain't never alone. And as soon as we find ourselves in a storm, first thing we, we think about is, uh, oh, my God, what am I going what? to do? You understand? Yep. And that's just what the enemy wants us to say. You know what I mean? Like, we're alone. You know what I mean? Against, you know, the, the situation or the circumstance. But God tells us in his word that we ain't never, we're never alone. He's always with us and stuff. He's in the boat and stuff. And as long as we stay focused on him, keep our eyes on the mark and stuff, he'll, he'll never leave us and stuff. And he'll always be there to hold us up and stuff. And he wants us to lean on him. He wants us to trust him. He wants us to have the faith, which is the key. You understand? Just like uh, uh, Apostle was saying, you know, the other day and stuff, uh, what is that faith? That's that divine focus. We got to stay focused and stuff, you understand? And knowing that God is who he say he is and stuff, in the midst of the storm and stuff, when we really need him, he's always there and stuff, you understand? And, and that doesn't mean he's like a, a genie and something's going to just automatically go, go away. We got to weather the storm. We got to go through. We got to take some blows, you understand? But the good news is on the other side of that, there's going to be some growth and development that only he can give us and stuff when we hold on to him. And don't try to fix things ourselves. But I always go to him and talk to him and see how he wants us to handle the situation. And he doesn't want us to have fear. And he doesn't want us to have doubt. And he doesn't want us to overact the situation and circumstance. But just remain calm. You understand? Uh, peace be still. Like Jesus uh, calmed down the winds and the waves and stuff. He said, and us, he said, when he ascended, he said, you'll do greater things. You're my masterpiece. Right. We got that same authority. We got that same power and stuff to do those things. But it's our level of faith that determines how much power is. It's our, our word life. You know what I mean? It's going to determine how much power and authority we have to deal with life situations. But I thank you for that word, Sister Denise, that it was on time. Mold me. We just got to stay. Deacon Denise, I'm sorry, we, we got to stay on, on the pot as well. Bless you. And, and continue to let him mold us and shape us and form us into what he wants us to be. Yeah. Peace. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Minister Al. I agree with all of that. And it might have been a short word, but it was a powerful word. But, uh, and you have, you said, God used me. Well, he used it because one thing you said that when people call you on the phone, you don't want to hear any nonsense. You tell them to go seek God for themselves first and then come back to you. Because one thing, when um, Peter was on the water, he stood there as long as he was positive. But when he discovered that he was on the water, he, he, he started sinking. Great point. And he started being afraid. But you don't need someone to call you for help from God. And you all build up standing on the water. And then they come and tell you negative things and plant a seed to make you sink. Yeah. So that's you good. Look at that, that way, you said God used you. That's really deep that He used you. Yeah. You shouldn't want any negative things coming um, because a lot of people don't know that a lot of things is negative. They just want to get it off their chest. And, um, and they haven't really read the word and, and put it on their heart to know that. They don't even know what they're saying is, you know, is serving, you serve two masters. You hate one and you love the other. Uh, so if you're talking positive and the other one's talking negative, it's nothing really going to happen. So you both have to be on the they have to know who God is and they have to be standing on the water like you're standing on the water, reasoning. Amen. Hoping that God is who he is, knowing that he is who he is. So I, I thought that little part touched my heart. Amen. 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 Great job. Okay. Well, I don't know. We still got some time if we want to talk or we can listen to a worship song. Well, well, uh, let's see here. 
anchored on the Lord. Isn't that what he said? Anchored was his song that you were saying, Mom Jeanette, last week? Or My week soul time? is anchored in the Lord. I was looking for it where you put it at. You have it on my own. I was just looking. <laughs> Excuse me. Bless you. Oh, thank you. Um, oh, I told the storm. Okay, so that's not it. So the one other one that I gave, what was it? Anchored? In the my soul is anchored in the Lord. <laughs> That's right. funny because because when we talk about the anchor, uh, you know, some sometimes some people, you know, knowing that you know you're trying to walk righteous with, with God and stuff to your best of your ability, you know, they'll come to you because they they want to you know be in that. In, in that spirit of knowing that God is around and stuff, you know what I mean? So if they right. look into somebody that's studious, you know, and trying to live a righteous life, they'll come to you, you know what I mean, and drop some stuff on you. Like, they'll be like, you know what? I need to talk. Can we talk right quick? You understand? And they'll say, you know what? Girl, let me tell you what just happened. So, <laughs> right? right? And they'll drop a whole bunch of weight on you, you understand, of different situations, and you know, and stuff that they're going through. And then a lot of times it can be overwhelming and stuff. And then, you know, us as believers and stuff, we got to, you know, let them know, okay, well, the first thing we're going to do, hey, check this out. We're going to lose anxiety. We're just going to pray right now. Amen. Amen. No matter what that situation, no matter how heavy that thing is that you can or what just happened and stuff, God can do and he can fix anything. You understand? So let's not let the flesh just overtake us with whatever this situation is. And 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 they there can be some serious situations that can really you know have us going and stuff. You understand? But God said, give everything to Him. You know what I mean? And don't be too anxious about anything, but let let our requests be known through supplication and, and prayer. You understand? That's what they speak about in, in Philippians uh, chapter four and stuff. You know, so it's good that we can you know redirect the stuff that they want to drop on us. To God, because that's what He wants us to do anyway. Bring it to Him. Well, what's these two things here? What's the song to get to Pastor Hope? Yeah, Amen. My soul is anchored by Douglas Miller. Okay, my soul is anchored by Douglas Miller. Okay. And I told a storm. Like I said, my storm is anchored. My soul is anchored, right? By yeah, Douglas Miller. That's a, your soul is anchored, Denise. <laughs> Get on that <laughs> phone and talk to them, and they have all of these things. The sea is hitting it against the wall and everything. They're going through torment mm -hmm. and stuff. The toes <laughs> is rolling and- The boat is rocking Yes, hard. <laughs> and they're saying, Jesus, help me. And forget <laughs> that he helped them before. <laughs> He's still the same God yesterday and forever. Uh -huh. yes. So your soul is anchored. And to listen to people with their problems like that or try to get them back on track, you have to be anxious. Sorry. All right, Mom, Jenny, I'm sorry to music. I didn't know you were still talking. Go ahead. That's I'm sorry. Oh, okay. As I keep my eyes on the road of the ocean, I Can you hear it okay? Great. Oh, I should have did that with the other song, the lyrics. 
Denise, it remind me of when 
I was taking a video of y'all when y'all were dancing and music and the worship. Y'all dance got so good. I was back and forth with the video. I said, you know, this is not me trying to worship and hold something at the same time. It just doesn't oh. work. <laughs> All right, <laughs> since we got a few more minutes. <laughs> Uh -oh. All right, let's see how we do this here. I guess it's
All right. Amen. Ooh. So, Mom Jeanette, would you be okay to close us out in prayer? Yes. Well, we just thank you, Father, for the, the word tonight, Lord. Yes. Let me ask you to bless everybody on the window pane. Bless our apostles and, and our pastors and leadership and you no know, deacons. Everyone. Um, and we just ask uh, keep a hedge of protection this week around our children and, and yes. our families, Lord. And let's keep the storm away. Allow goodness and mercy to follow us as we go through the week, Lord. And everything that Denise said tonight, song um, 124, 1, and Matthew 14, 27 to 30, let us plant it in our hearts throughout the week. Yes. Hallelujah. And let us um, be anchored in the Lord. Let us be anchored in the storm. Let us walk on the water with faith like Peter and don't doubt in the name of Jesus. Let us be faithful and good servants throughout the week, Lord. Let us keep our mind on you in Jesus' name. And we also um, ask to heal the sick, the brokenhearted, and continue setting the captives free. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 All right, well, everybody's heart and mind is clear. Yes. Amen. Praise God. Well, Denise, thank you so much for a powerful on-time word. And um, just keep on letting God use you because you don't see it, but we see it. And God knows that you're able to do what he's called you to do. So just keep on trusting him. So we love you and we'll be praying for you on Friday that I know you'll do good with prayer because you definitely are a mighty prayer warrior as well. So, um, yep. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. Our power. Okay. Amen. All right. Love you guys. Yeah, Thank you for you everything. Too. Thank you. And you guys are next weekend is what next Wednesday is the week. Yeah. The Sunday. No, no, no. It's fourth Sunday, fourth Wednesdays in the month. Yeah.